All right, I'm going to show you my team here. Going kind of quick, I'm sorry. I got my speed up on him. He's, he's a bit beefy, hits pretty good. Um, he does not have an ultimate yet. He's getting closer. She, I slowed her down a little bit and added more health and also a little less damage. She, uh, I, I needed to get her health uh, up a little more, get her a little more um, longevity in the fight. Um, him, I left him the same. Good speed, good health, good damage. I wanted to have Yoda with the least amount. Another one I changed was Kenobi here. I slowed him down. I even want to get him slower, I think. Although this is working pretty good at that speed. And then Yoda. Um, he's slightly slower. Hits pretty good. But more for him is his, uh, his buffs. It's more in that he's attacking out of turn. Uh, because he's got the lowest health and, and uh, protection. So we're going to go in this first one here. And this one here. We're going to put the tank tech. Or not the tank tech, sorry. I was just using Watt a little while ago. We're going to put the, that on on Kenobi. Now, Jedi Master Kenobi should be able to take two turns, this is my goal, to General Kenobi's one turn. That is what I'm trying to get it down to. Now, I want to get Revan out first. Then I take out Jedi Master Luke has been working pretty good for me. Sometimes you can focus Jedi Master Luke straight down, but um, Revan just tends to, you know, because you can get around Kenobi with, uh, with Revan there. And uh, so now he's gone. Now they can't get around him when his taunt is up, and especially when I make him invulnerable. So that's the whole idea with getting him out. So now I have the time to take out Jedi Master Luke. I've tried different tactics to go after gas or so on. And then Jedi Master Luke, I have found it's just overall better just to get Jedi Master Luke out. As I've been playing each each day over the last week, the teams I'm going up against are getting harder and harder and harder. More and more people are getting the ultimates on their Kenobis. They're coming up with different teams, some with Padme, so on and so forth. So over these next few days, before I get my ultimate, I'm going to try to make, you know, try to do a video a day if I can. Um, some are successful that I'm dealing with and some uh, I'll tell you I'm, I'm struggling with um, I know some people are taking out um, Sith Eternal I've been trying I just can't seem to get that one down uh, I know that a lot of guys that have done it have the ultimate on Kenobi and that seems to really help I wouldn't know I don't have it um, so anyways, the going this route works pretty good. What I'm trying to do is have one team that I use for everything, not have a different team for each, you know, different setup and so on and so forth. I'm trying to come up with one team that works pretty good against most things. And then, of course, I have Sith Eternal and I also have Jedi Master Luke. But um, right now I'm just trying to come up with a good overall team for GAC purposes. Now the next one, he does not have his ult on Jedi Master Kenobi. So we're going to roll without a, um, out one on this one. His, the reason why I recorded this one is I'm running into this setup quite a bit for people that don't have the ultimate. Now he also has Cam. And he's got Ahsoka. 
Another popular one is the same team, except for instead of Ahsoka, they'll have Hermit Yoda or Padme. Some are running the C-3PO and Padme. Um, again, see how much slower mine is? His is out. Now here's the thing. Get the armor shred on Kenobi. You do want to take Kenobi out first. That's General Kenobi, I mean. So get the armor shred on him. It's not a waste, even though he didn't take damage. We're prepping him for when we can do damage, we can do more damage. Again, my Kenobi still cannot, now he's finally out of it now at this point. And the next turn should be, yep, the other Kenobi. And I'm trying to get it so it's consistently that way. So the next, here I'll see, I'm trying to get it all timed out just right with the two Kenobis. Although it does get a little scary. Yeah, I was not paying attention. I didn't see he had the eyeball up on him. So that was an extra turn I didn't need to take. Now, right here I went after Gas, but no, you want to go after the other Kenobi at this point. Get him down and out of there, because once he's out, that's it. So, you're gonna go up to GK, and then, look at that, oh, come on, leave him alone. All right, let's get back to work here. I'm stuck on cam at the moment, but Ahsoka took that off. Now, watch the Kenobis. He goes, and now he puts the buff on. And now I've got pretty much two turns with Jedi Master Kenobi. Where he is um, protected. I mean, I'm ending this with pretty much full banners. Again, he doesn't have his ultimate. But I wanted to show you the timing I'm trying to get down here with this. Tomorrow, I'll, we have a few that have the um, ultimate. So I'll do some recordings with those and post those. Right now, I'm more worried about these, these counters with... I'm running into a lot with uh, either Jedi Master Luke or Jedi Master Kenobi in the shard. And then, of course, um, Sith Eternal, I'm, uh, I'm struggling with, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not... I don't know if it's my buffs or what, but I'm, I'm not uh, taking him out. But the guys that I have seen take him out all have their... Um... Now I know that that, see now, now the timing's off, but I wanted to, to put it on him anyway right here because he's gonna counter and then he's gonna go. Now his counter's off and then when mine falls off, I think he dies anyway. So anyways, there, there you go. And with all my ramblings, and hopefully all this made sense. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, like if you like. Alright, bye.